buddy I once. And um, I think it's going to be a good game. It was after the, the PlayStation Store. That's my fault there. It was my fault. It was my fault. Yeah. I don't know how it's going to work, I'm so yeah, I can. Right, we'll just play the video, right? So, because I don't know how to play that either. The history of Back to the Future in video games yeah. has not been a pretty one. And so, my mandate to Telltale when they said we're going to do Back to the Future is this game cannot suck eggs. Uh, I was aware of his frustration at previous attempts at making a game. Definitely, like the first time we met, we talked about that. You know, with Telltale, Wait, our process like starts game. with the story and the characters, and we... Well, I'm going to do the first one, and then we'll do the rest of the game. I want that music, it's really good. Before we begin, you would I'm just fucking everything, but we'll do it. All right, I'm ready. Good evening. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26th, 1985, 118 a.m., and this is temporal experiment number one. Come on, Einie. Hey, boy, get in there. That a boy. In you go. Get down. Get your seatbelt on. That's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right. Check, Doc. Good. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch your head. If you haven't saw the movie, I won't ruin this. You got that thing hooked up to the this is real car? Good, this, but movie. Watch this. Yeah, okay. Got it. I'm not controlled. Please. Not me! The car! Me. The car! I'm still not doing anything. If my calculations are correct, when this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. Watch this, watch this. <laughs> what did I tell you? 88 miles per hour! That's what you see in the movies also. The temporal displacement occurred at exactly 1.20 a.m. and zero seconds! Hot Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ, Doc, you disintegrated Einstein! Calm down, Marty. I didn't disintegrate anything. The molecular structure of both Einstein and the car are completely intact. Where the hell are they? The appropriate question is, when the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler. I sent him into the future. One minute into the future, to be exact. And at precisely 1.21 a.m. and zero seconds, we shall catch up with him and the time machine. I don't know about that if it's any of Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You... The way I see it, good. if you're going to build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Besides, the stainless steel construction made the flux dispersal. Look out! What? There he is. Back. From the dead. Uh, Doc? Huh, that's peculiar. Oh, uh, where's the car, Doc? It should have caught up with us 27 seconds ago. Doc, uh, what happened to Einstein? No need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuit. Marty, could you get my notebook? It should be in the toolbox.
Notebook. Notebook. I'm not good at this. Got it. Flux no. capacitor? That's it! What the heck's a flux capacitor? My latest invention. The thing that makes time travel possible. In this notebook, I've detailed the nearly three decades of scientific breakthroughs necessary to build a working time machine. If it ever fell into the wrong hands, the consequences could be catastrophic. Let's see. It's mass equals high times Z and E. e consequences could be catastrophic? Whoa. Deja vu. If anybody watches this right now, text me what you want me to, like, A, B, or C, you know, and all that, like, I'll do the top one is A, the bottom. Uh, the bottom doc? one is C, and the middle one is B. This is a bit what I like. Great Scott! Oh no. Doc, what is it? This I've have made a mistake. horrible mistake! Doc! Doc, no! I'm sorry, Marty. Doc, come back! Doc! But now it should get me into the real game. Oh, it's just a dream. That was good. Marty? Is everything okay? Probably. Yeah, Mom. I... It was it was just a nightmare. Uh, I was in the past, and Doc was there. Well, you're safe and sound now. Back in good old 1986. But you'd better get up. Your father's waiting for you. Huh? I kinda would Weren't you going to meet him over at Doc's? Holy crap, I'm late. I think, I think it should let me like drive and all that. Now that should be really good. So it would. And then I could easily drive it. Because in the movie, there was the skateboard back. It's about to. Episode 1. Dun dun dun. There's no movie with the game. Doesn't play the game. Oh, that's what's good in the movie. Are we too late to stop the... sale? Better late than never. You wouldn't believe how much rare stuff there is back here. That's doc stuff. The city has no right now, to... Now, son, I know you're upset, but your friend's been gone for months, and the city really seems hell-bent on using his land for that new parking garage, and... Hey, is that a first edition Jules Verne? It's just not fair. But at least things can't get any worse. Hey, Marty. Hi, Biff. Come to see if the old crackpot had any buried treasure? Nah, I guess I'm just... remembering. Hey, let me! Now, Biff, leave Marty alone. This is a very emotional time for him. Oh, sure. Sorry, Marty. I miss Einstein. Yep. I miss Einstein. I don't know if it was that. I'm just going to press help. A fish tank? I never knew Doc raised fish. 
Doc's fish had weird taste and decor. I kind of like Doc. He's dead. No, oh, can still from video. I'm telling you, this sale is a joke. Doc's only been gone for a few months, and I happen to know. Yes, you've told us he's not dead. He's on a trip. Let's say you're right. Have you considered that this trip may not have been entirely voluntary? I hate to say it, but Doc's run up some pretty sizable debts around town. Maybe he's just hiding from his creditors. You got Doc wrong. Sure, maybe he's not so good with money. That, that's just because his mind's always on bigger things. But he's still a straight-up guy. He'd never run away from his problems. Well, you know him better than I do, son. But the bank is within its rights to sell off his stuff. Maybe you should try to find some things to remember him by before Biff grabs them all. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. Is that how valid? Oh, that, that, is that it now? Doc must have whipped up some crazy compounds in that cauldron. <laughs> well, that smells like beef stew. Well, that's my fault. Maybe it should have a clue. Yeah. Doc built this model at Downtown Hill Valley way back in 1955. The clock tower in the courthouse even works. What the? Is that Doc's notebook in there? Hey, that looks just like the courthouse. You gotta hand it to the old coot. He was good with his hands. Uh, Biff, I can, can I see that a minute? This would look great in my fish tank. Give the old carp something new to nibble on. Come on, I saw it first. Yeah, I guess you're right. But I picked it up first. Give it here, Biff. Well, well, look at what we have here. Looks like plans for something. What's a flux catheter? It's none of your business. Doc asked me to... Brown's worm food, kid. But this looks like it might be worth something. <laughs> I knew we have to try and get home. Punch him. Hope that wasn't poison gas or anything. Hey, Biff. I just can't let you keep that notebook. It's dangerous. What, is it set to explode or something? Well, uh, in a way. I'll take my chances. I only want that notebook because, well, I'm, I'm sentimental. It's like a piece of Doc. Doc's dead. Time to get over it and move on. It's just a notebook with Doc's scribblings. What did Doc ever accomplish? Nothing. And then it's worthless, right? If it was really worthless, you wouldn't want it so bad. I'll pay you for it. How much? Uh, Not enough. That notebook wouldn't mean anything to you. You wouldn't even understand what's in it. You calling me ignorant? I just can't let you keep that notebook. It's dangerous. What, is it set to explode that or something? Well, uh, in a way. I'll take my chances. I'll pay you for it. How much? Um, Not enough. I just can't let you keep that notebook. It's dangerous. 
What, is it set to explode or something? Well, uh, in a way. I'll take my chances. Right, that is the last time. Ah, uh, never mind. That is not going to get me up. Hey, Dad, wh why's my guitar got a price tag on it? Sorry, son. Must have been an overzealous clerk. Just pick it up. I'll iron things out with the bank. Here's an oldie, but a goodie. One, two, three. <laughs> hey, look, it's Chuck Butthead. Let me show you how it's done. Now, Biff, I think that's Marty's guitar. Oh, uh, gosh, uh, you're right, Mr. McFly. Oh, here you go, Marty. Let's hear a few licks. Wow, that was sizzling hot, like a melting ice cube. Yeah. I don't know what the controls are, so I don't know. Quality's good, but it needs more bass and treble and, and volume. Quality's good, but it needs more bass and treble and, and volume. Hey, Dad. Do you think dreams can predict the future? Well, you know I don't go in for that mystical stuff. But I do think they can reflect how you're feeling about the future. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. Hey, Dad. Who's running this sale anyway? Oh, that'd be me, son. You? Why? Well, once it became apparent that the bank was going through with the sale, I volunteered to oversee it in order to make sure that Doc's He's stuff would be treated Close. with a modicum of respect. Isn't that right, yep. Biff? Close. You got it, Mr. McFly! He's definitely that notebook is Doc's legacy. I've got an obligation to protect it. Now, hold on a minute. Didn't you just get done telling me Doc's still around? Off traveling somewhere? Asian to protect his legacy. You can't have it both ways, Marty. If Doc's alive, he can protect his own legacy. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. Right. He just... Right. Let's 
see if I go to the door. I can't leave until I get Doc's notebook back from Biff. Does nature contrive it so that even with a time machine, you can intervene to prevent your own conception, for example? Hey, Dad. About Biff. Dad, I, I know you're trying to help. He talks a big game, son, but he's not so tough. I've been dealing with him a long time. Believe me, I can handle him. So can I. I guess you can. Okay, son. I'll stay out of your way. But you know where to find me. Problem? Biff? He's got this thing, see, and I really need to get it back. If he stole something from you... No, it, it's one of Doc's notebooks. Yeah, he found it first, but... Oh, well then I'm not sure what to tell you. I guess you'll just have to appeal to his better angels or something. Or something. Right, everybody. I think this is the end of this video, so bye! Do the next one.